Hey folks, so this is the new Elgato 4K X that I purchased recently. Fantastic bit of kit, but one issue with it is it does not have any innate support for multi-capture. So for example, if I have Streamlabs open, then that will work absolutely fine. But if I then open the Elgato 4K capture utility as well, that won't get an image because it can only send the image to the first piece of software that I opened. A bit of a nuisance, especially because some of the other Elgato capture cards, such as the HD60S, along with the 4K Pro and the 4K 60 Pro do allow this feature. But there is a workaround and that's what I'm gonna be helping you guys with today. So first of all, just a brief overview of the actual problem. Right now I have Streamlabs open and you can see I have the Elgato uh, capture there, no problems whatsoever. So I can live stream, that will work absolutely fine. But my live stream is 1080p resolution. It obviously has my stream overlay. My webcam's not showing right now because it's currently on the screen recording. And it has my live commentary. But I also want to be able to capture a nice, clean 4K video of the same stream without my live commentary and without the uh, screen overlay. But if I go ahead and open the 4K capture utility, then it's going to give me a bit of a problem because the Elgato 4K X that I'm using doesn't support multi-feeds. As you can see, black screen, big problem. And again, this will apply to the 4K X, which is what I'm using, but also to the HD 60X and the HD 60S Plus, I think it's called. But here's the fix. So let's go ahead and close all of this down for now. We want to go ahead and open the NDI tools download page. And I would get the Windows version, you being a Windows user, but it does work on Mac as well. This is for Streamlabs, by the way. If you are using OBS Studio, there's another download you would need to get the NDI software. I'll leave a link to that. Once you've installed NDI tools, it will want you to register. But there's a little X in the top right corner of the registration pop up. Tap that and you won't need to put any details in whatsoever. And this will still work fine. So once that's installed, as mine is, here's the actual workaround. I'm going to start by opening the Elgato 4K Capture Utility. And we'll just wait for this to load. It will work now because we don't have Streamlabs open. So there's no other software using the Elgato hardware. There we go. But if we tap settings here, all we need to do is enable Steam, sorry, Stream Link Beta. Okay. Once that's enabled, choose the format that you want to live stream in. This isn't the format you will capture clean recordings in. This is what you will want to live stream in. For me, 1080p60 is just perfect for my audience. I don't stream in 4K because that tends to be the default that gets pushed out to the viewers by YouTube or Twitch, and it causes buffering all over the place for them. So I'll select 1080p60. With that done, we can now once again open Streamlabs. Now, we haven't set Streamlabs up yet with the NDI tools that we just downloaded. So, we, you know, we are going to get that black screen because Elgato cannot send the video to both pieces of software. So this is my original Elgato capture here. I'm going to keep this enabled because there will be times where I want to live stream and don't care about recording at the same time. So this will still work then and I won't need to open the 4K capture utility. But for now, I'm going to tap a new source and the source we want to add is the NDI source. This will only show once you've installed the NDI tools. So we'll select that, add source. I guess I can just call this 4K capture utility. And what this is going to do is take the image from the 4K Capture Utility software, not from the Elgato hardware. If you are still getting a black screen here, as I am, change the sync option from network to source timing. There we go. There's the video. Uh, so if we just tap done on that, we don't need to do anything else there. I'm just going to reorient this so it's underneath my overlay. And as you can see, we get a lovely, clean 1080p, 60 frames per second image there with no latency whatsoever compared to the capture from the main hardware in the capture utility. So absolutely works wonders. 
No difference whatsoever in the end result. And that's all there is to it. So I can now hit go live in Streamlabs desktop. And then I can also record in the 4K capture utility for that nice clean 4K recording with no live commentary. So just the game audio and no stream overlay. Then I can use that footage to my own ends afterwards to perhaps make more YouTube videos or whatever the case may be. Now, if I close the 4K capture utility whilst I'm using this new NDI source in uh, Streamlabs, that is going to crash the video image. Not the software, don't worry, just the video image. So if I try and do anything now, it's not going to work. And that's because this was taking the video, this source was taking the video from the Elgato software, which has now been closed. So I can just close Streamlabs, open it again. And if I open it now without the 4K capture utility being open, I will again get an image, but this time not from the NDI source, but from the original Elgato capture source, which I did not delete. Remember I said I'm going to leave that? And that's because if I don't want to record in the Elgato software, I don't have to open it. I can just still live stream in Streamlabs and it will use the original source to get me the video. So this is all working again now. But if I do want to record, it's important that I open the Elgato Capture Utility first before opening Streamlabs. So as long as I can remember that order, then that will work fine too. So folks, hopefully this little tutorial has helped you out. And if it has, please don't forget to drop a thumbs up on this video and I'll catch you in the next one.